Certainly the Arabs have a much greater claim because they've had a longer history of inhabitants, of actual residents in Palestine, than the Jews did. If you look at the history of Palestine, there's been some quite interesting work done by biblical archaeologists. You'll see that the period of actual Israelite, as it was called in the Old Testament, dominance in Palestine amounts to about 200 to 250 years. But there were Moabites, there were Jebusites, there were Canaanites, there were Philistines, there were many other people in Palestine at the time and before and after. And to isolate one of them and say that's the real owner of the land, I mean that is, that is fundamentalism. Because the only way you could back it up is say, well God gave it to us. Yes, but I mean Christians think that God gave it to them and Muslims think that God gave it to them. I mean that's not a rational argument. So I think the people who have a history of residence in Palestine for a certain amount of time, including the Jews, yes, and of course the Arabs, have a claim. Nobody has a claim that overrides all the others and entitles that person with that so-called claim to drive people out. I mean, that's the point. This is a very, very important point. I mean, Jews have a claim in Palestine. I've never denied that. Of course they do. But is it a claim that's, that can tell a Palestinian, well, you've got to leave this house because I, I mean, I got it 3,000 years ago. I mean, it's true I come from Poland or from Brooklyn, but I have a bigger right to this house than you do. So get out. That's, I, 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 I'm sorry, I disagree with that, with that kind of logic. Uh, and if there, were, if there was some way, as there seemed to be now, there is a formula accepted by the world uh, and between, uh, shared also with many Israelis and many Palestinians, many Arabs, for sharing the land, I mean, I think that's the better way to look at it, to say, no, one claim is superior to all the others.